Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I'm here today to do another video in my series on long distance walking. And today's video is about resources that you can use for inspiration or information about how to um, do long distance walking, how to do it safely, um, how to train for a race, um, gear, all that kind of stuff. And so I wanted to just share with you a few of my favorites. First of all, um, this book is called No Need for Speed, and it is a beginner's guide to the joy of running. Now, yes, this says running, and I am a walker, but really any information you find out that is good for a runner is also good for a walker. Just remember that times are going to be different. So let me give you an example. If a runner runs a mile and a walker walks a mile, they are going to burn about the same number of calories. Sound surprising? Well, it's because it takes the walker longer to walk a mile, and that's why. So if you are reading information that is for runners and it says like after an hour do this or after 20 minutes do this, you can't really use the time if they're talking about running because, um, because the time to walk and to run is different. So that's the only thing that you'd have to kind of recalculate. So anyway, but this is a great book. It is written by John the Penguin Bingham. I will link this and all of the resources on my uh, blog at busybeinggen.com. I will link the um, exact post in the space below. So John Bingham is the person that I talked about in the intro video for this series. He started out years ago, he was really overweight, he um, had an unhealthy lifestyle, and he just decided to make a change and decided he was gonna start running. And he went outside and he ran to the end of the driveway and he ran back and that was it. And the next day he did it again, and the next day he did it again. And then pretty soon he started going a, a little bit farther and then coming back and then a little bit farther. And next thing you know, he's running marathons, but he is the champion of all slow people. So um, the last I heard, and this was quite a few years ago, um, maybe five or six years ago, he had done over 40 full marathons. Um, there was one particular race that he did that I also did, and um, his time was actually slower than mine. And I'm a pretty fast walker, so that, but that just shows you how, how slow he runs, he runs. But, but he does run. And he is getting out there and he is physically fit. So this book just provides inspiration um, for getting out the door. And he is also the author of a book called Cur The Courage to Start. So that's another one that's inspirational. If I look at the back of this, it says, um, John Bingham, the patron saint of the back of the pack, commands the Penguin Brigade those thousands of dedicated runners who have learned that the greatest joy in their sport comes not from how fast they go or how thin they become, but how simply having the courage to take, um, but from simply having the courage to take the first step. So I strongly recommend this, especially if you're just getting into walking or maybe you wanna get into doing longer distances or even a race, which I would encourage you to do. Okay. Um, the next thing is, well, one of them is a magazine that I don't currently subscribe to, so I don't have one to show you, but it is a magazine called Women's Running, and it's a great magazine that provides all kinds of helpful information and gives you information about upcoming races and um, things about training and all that kind of stuff. It's just a really good resource and it's specifically geared to women. Another magazine that um, is not specifically geared toward women is Runner's World. And this one um, I am currently subscribing to has tons of great information. This one right here has a shoe buyer's guide in it. So if you're wondering what kind of shoe to get, it kind of gives you some tips. Um, there are there is a training schedule, an eight week training schedule to do a 10K. If you're if you're interested, it does say Runner's World, but remember you can use a training schedule that runners use as a walker, and and um, you'll get the same benefit. Um, there is some stuff in here about gear and different kinds of sunglasses and which ones work best, and so just a lot of helpful information. They also feature um, different races in parts of in different parts of the country and the world. And so um, if you wanna get inspired, that's a good one too. If you are into 
um, doing a full marathon. Um, <laughs> some of you are probably like, no, I'm, I'm going to turn off this video. I didn't think I would ever do a full marathon either, but I have done four and I'm training for my fifth, but I haven't done one in um, over five years. And when you're training for a full marathon, you really do need to have someone guide you in that because there are a lot of things that can happen to you in a full marathon that can um, impact your health if you're not hydrating properly, if you're not putting electrolytes into your body. And I have videos in the series that um, are about some of those topics. I will link several of them in the space below. So if you haven't seen those, you can go to them. But I would strongly recommend that you join a training club if you're going to do a full marathon, um, some kind of a, or talk to an expert, somebody that you can really talk to um, on a regular basis throughout your training so you can um, get the, the best and, um, information and so you'll be safe and healthy when you do a full marathon. So this one right here is called A Complete Guide to Marathon Walking. Yay, a resource that mentions walkers who walk long distance. This is by Dave McGovern. I loved it that it talks about walkers and this one just has all kinds of great information about, it has marathon training schedules in the back. It has um, stuff about um, hydration and nutrition. It has um, about increasing your speed. It talks about having a complete workout, so not just walking, but also, you know, like you need to exercise your core because if your stomach muscles are strong, it supports your back. And when you're out there for hours and hours walking, your back will hurt. And so it's really important to have strong stomach muscles. So this has all kinds of stuff. This is an old book. Well, I thought it was, I mean, it's kind of old. This was first published in 2000 and it was most recently um, reprinted in 2005. Um, I will, once again, I'll link this stuff over on my uh, blog, busybeinggen.com, so, and, and where you can find it. So if you're interested, you can do that. Sorry, it's getting dark in here. We have a big storm moving in, so. Um, okay, the last thing I'm gonna share with you is called Nancy Clark's Food Guide for Marathoners and Tips for Everyday Champions. So yeah, it is by Nancy Clark, and there's the foreword in here by John Bingham the Penguin, who's the guy I just talked about with the other book. Um, the reason they call him the Penguin is his kind of a um, tagline is waddle on, waddle on, folks. Um, so so anyway, this is great. It just said that it's a um, that it's perfect for athletes, um, both inexperienced and experienced. And it just gives you all kinds of tips, not just about how to eat right before a marathon or leading up to a marathon, but if you're going to be into doing long distances, kind of how to eat all the time. So, um, so this is a really good one. There are, I'm sure, lots of other resources out there that you can look into, but let me just say, if you're going to be doing long distances, don't, don't just run out there and say, you know, I got this, I know how to do it. Um, I had a, a, a friend whose husband was saying, yeah, I don't need to do that. I don't need to eat that way. I don't need to do that. And he ended up at the end of a couple races not feeling too good. So um, you don't want to do that. So get some information, get some quality information from experts if you're going to do this. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful. I hope you'll check out my blog so that you can see some of these resources up close and find out where you can pick some of those up. Also, you don't have to buy things either. You can just go online and search for resources for marathons or long distance walking, mar um, not <laughs> long distance walking resources and see what comes up because there's so much information online that is free. Um, but definitely look into using some of those resources to help you. So I hope this was helpful to you and um, I hope that you guys are getting yourself out the door and increasing your distance and feeling really good and clearing your head, which is what I really love about walking. So um, thanks for watching. If you're not currently subscribed to my channel, just hit this button right here. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos. I do videos about makeup product reviews and organizational projects and life management, but this series of long distance walking I'm posting um, just about every Sunday. So I hope you will join me and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.